Hey, Perry here, Taylor Sound, tip of the day. Well, today my tip is about practice space. That's a big part of my business, so I know a little bit about it. And one thing uh, we have in the rehearsal space business is the golden rule. And the golden rule is for bands that share space. And it, the golden rule is never, never, never touch anybody else's gear without their permission. And I know it's tempting when there's a nice Les Paul in the corner or a nice set of drums that you've never played to sit down and play it. But really, if you're sharing a practice space with another band <clears throat> and you're both paying equal amounts of rent and, you know, you have each other's gear to think about in there, just never, never, never pick it up. I mean, if you want to call them or send them a text and say, hey, can I play this for a little while? Or even a set of drumsticks. I know in the past I've, you know, drumsticks have been missing or picks or strings or just small little items can become really, really irritating uh, when, you, when they go missing. It's not the hugest, you know, end of the world but over time, if that keeps happening, it's really, really annoying. So golden rule for sharing a practice space, never, never, never touch anybody else's musical equipment or anything that's theirs in the practice space. Leave it alone. If you need to go get a set of strings or a pair of drumsticks, run down to GC and do it. Don't just grab somebody else's sticks and start jamming. It will add up over time and you will end up with no band roommate. Rock on.